Good how high to start. Well, the Beyonce one. Yeah, and put your hands on there. Yeah. And then like make yourself bigger. Does that actually work? Yeah, it does work. Really? Which is awesome. Okay. Cool so two weekends ago, we had a weekend in Munich. It was a Friday and a Saturday. Which is sort of our standard thing, isn't it? We go try and get a flight out early on the Friday, yep. all day Friday, all day Saturday, fly back on the Sunday. Three days as well, a good amount of time Absolutely. in the city. I, I left a little bit early this time. You had one night in you, Munich on your own. You did, well you had that League Cup final to get back to, watching okay. Southampton unfortunately lose to Man United. <laughs> So I shouldn't remind you about that. But yeah, our reason for going out there basically was was the XX. Yep. Looking to get a gig in. We were going to try and do one of the Brixton gigs they had in London. But um, did they, had they actually sold out or did you straight away look for the moon tickets? No, they sold out. We thought, well, this is a good opportunity because if you look at like a band like that that are really popular and will play European cities, you know, why not go to a European city? Absolutely. Rather than make yeah. it just another night in London. Absolutely, you know? yeah. So we wanted to make turn it into this weekend that was like born out of the exit. Luckily it was Friday night as well. Luckily, yeah, that, yeah. Def that definitely helped. And um, yeah, it, and they absolutely smashed it. Oh, like, they, amazing. We met together. They were really good. But this vlog isn't really about Munich per se. Yeah. It's more a comparison of um, German and British nightlife. But seeing as we were there for three days and we had a pretty good time, we might as well kind of go through a couple of things we did. Because this is now our fourth German city? Fourth German city within a year. And we, yeah. what was funny is we didn't even really appreciate that until we are out there. We are like, wow, we've been to four German no, cities in a year. Hamburg was first. Yeah. Um, Cologne was second. Cologne was second. We our friend Darren. Berlin was third. And then of course, more Munich. recently Munich. Munich was, Munich was the most recent one. So. As a quick kind of like hash, hashed guide, if you like, to Munich. Go, if you sound, can, go and see a gig. They've got some great gig venues yeah, out there. Absolutely. They've got this really weird surfing thing at Eisbach, which is like this bridge that overlooks a river, as bridges tend to. <laughs> and you get, you get all these, they've got like a break in there and all these surfers go down there to do surfing. It's amazing and like something completely unique within Europe. So that's well worth checking out. We did the view from St. Peter's Church. I think any city you go to, you to get it. an Instagrammable picture, <laughs> I always want to go viewpoint. Yeah, See view, a good yeah viewpoint. definitely. Uh, the English Garden, which in the winter wasn't really that impressive. No, no it wasn't. Like, loads of dead trees. And... I think it's the most moody shots of you, though. And yeah. hopefully you can show you. I'll, I'll, I'll stick them on screen now. <laughs> show us moody Adam Hall with album cover shots. Um, then we had a really good meal, albeit with a slightly moody waiter, at a place called Andy's. Rabbler Garden. And this is a boy who's got a huge appetite as well. Yeah, it? pretty much filmed me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm pretty much sure that I had some remote life left over you asked for them. You, you got eaten quite a lot faster because I finished before you and then you started like picking up your pace because you were nervous. Coincidentally, Bayern Munich were playing at home yeah. that weekend. City. It was like an attractive city, um, good food, yeah. pretty to walk around. But in terms of nightlife, we had it was it wasn't the best. Was no, it? Like, no. let's be perfectly honest about this. We've had better nights out, and there was a precursor to this that you messaged someone, a girl from Berlin, who you know, saying we're going to Munich. And what was the quote she gave you? I can bring it up on my phone right now. Uh, Munich is for sophisticated people who want to be rich, and Berlin is for people who want to live. Yeah, so that was it already a sign. We, I mean, we kind of took that with a pinch of salt. Yeah. We were like, all right, that's interesting, because we absolutely love Berlin. Yeah. I mean, we like the music, we like sort of the laid-back lifestyle, the fact it's a bit alternative. So that's our kind of city. Whereas Bavaria, in addition to that, it's the more traditional German city. Yeah. Like, Bavarian culture is like German, like the definition of German culture. Beer halls, big steins of lager, as Adam's beautifully definitely. I think like that's one of our best backgrounds we've ever done on the chalkboard. I'm proud of that flag. I... Beg to differ, but <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that um, you know, like you said, it's it's different. It's just different, and like culturally, I think that I didn't find the atmosphere in bars very social, no, very open. Um, there was no mixing of people, um, and I think that you know, I'm not saying that we are uber people that go into bars and like surround ourselves and we want to kind of get involved in chat and conversation straight away but it felt very siloed but it was like this beer hall layout which obviously kind of yep. Germany and Munich synonymous with everyone was in their group kind of like formulaically German laid out like yes. German efficiency was very much in play here 
but you couldn't really engage conversation with it. No. Like it, there were there wasn't much standing room, so there weren't people kind of socialising, standing up that much. And because of that, like it just felt like me and you were just talking to each other in like our own little section. What was strange was that we'd research like cool bars, and like you find one, it'd be like, okay, cool, this is kind of small, it's a cocktail bar. Where's the next one? Fifteen minute walk. Yeah. But on the walk there. There was nobody in the neighbourhood. There was one situation where we were like maybe 50 metres from the bar we were meant to be at and there wasn't a soul around. No, no, no. And so you could, like, there was no kind of like, you weren't, there wasn't like a gravitational pull with like an atmosphere in the same way that if you're in Dalston, Brixton, Notting Hill or something like that, there's a kind of con concentration of bars in one area and you kind of gravitate towards that because you kind of know where it's Absolutely. at. Absolutely. And at, at those times you don't really need to know what the best bar is, you just Kind of yeah, you want, and you can which one looks the best. The best time we had in terms of nightlife was that house fight that we kind of broke into. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, I think in any of these weekends, if you travel away in Europe, you've got to have a certain amount of confidence and uncertainty. Yeah. So you never know what's going to come up around the corner. Yeah. But we saw two lads hanging outside a house, music coming from um, coming from inside, and we thought, do you know what? Let's take a chance here. Yeah. Walked through the front door, got that part, that was like level one. Yeah. Um, we saw then in the doorway, everyone was taking their shoes off. They went ahead of us, opened the door, and we thought, man, this is not going to happen. But we thought, do you know what? Level two, big boss man, let's do it. Uh -huh. Took our shoes off, and we knocked on the door. But what was great was that it wasn't where someone came to the door. Yeah. It was just a kind of lazy open. Yeah, So we just right. walked in, and that's where we met some cool people in Munich, I'd say. That's and, right, that's and right. And we proceeded to spend most of Saturday night at this Munich house party, which, um, yeah, it was probably the best part of Munich. I feel if you're watching this, mm. there's a bit of a negative undertone towards Munich, but, I mean, in terms of, if we're gonna keep on track in terms of German nightlife versus yeah. London, which we're used to and we know, yeah. I think there's a lot of good in terms of Germany. We know Germany is great for clubs. Great for clubs. I, I think personally, like London's got a bit of an identity crisis at the moment in terms of clubs, given off the back of this whole fabric situation. That doesn't exist in Germany. Certainly no. it doesn't exist in Berlin. You know, we've lived in London for a, lo a long, long time now. How good London does certain things. And but the bar culture in London, like some of the ways the pubs are laid out, is brilliant. It's the evolution of the bar, mate. That, yeah. that's, that's what we need to remember. It's kind of like, it's got to that point where like you said, in Germany, I guess, it's come from the beer halls yeah. to the bars, and that then dictates the layout yeah. and the kind of vibe, whereas in London, it was pub culture yeah. and kind of bar bar pubs. That's Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And that's it. And you get these brilliant, uh, we get these nice situations where, yeah, kind of your more old school pub is like modified a little bit for a kind of a new, younger generation or whatever, and it's taken on board the best things that made a good pub yeah. and the best things that kind of make a bar. And our... I mean, I think the absolute archetype of that in London is our favourite bar, uh, which is Fars, in, yeah. in kind of between Dawson and Hackney. That's a little promo there, isn't it? Little, little well, that, that is. I want to see if we can get some discount for drinks there. But it's unbelievable. <laughs> well, what's, what's good about it? We're talking about like the physical layout of bars in Germany. There's a big, big space in the middle where people just kind of talk and socialise, yeah. right? So you, you automatically gravitate towards that, which is nice. The bar is right in the centre of the... Um, of the venue, so you can walk all the way around it, which yeah. is nice from a space layout point of view. The seating isn't properly closed off, and you kind of, you're naturally sat next to people, which you are in a beer hall as well, but it's difficult to explain, but it's just the layout of it and the way in which people, kind of the positions in which people face just lends itself to more social atmosphere. Absolutely, man. I mean, every bar we go to, we ask for a floor pan as soon as we go in there. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder all the bouncers in London hate us. Yeah. So we always ask for a floor plan first. And we're like, spe we're like specking it out before we go in there and go, no, that should be moved, that table's over there. <laughs> I will say one thing about German nightlife mm. in total, mm. and this is again making that comparison towards London yeah. and UK, is that they continue partying beyond oh the hours of yeah. like one or two in the morning. It's like, you know, when you hear the bell go in a pub in London or the lights come on in a club, you know that it's kind of that's kind of your night dwindled out. It's done. Yeah. In Germany, we went to a restaurant that was kind of a restaurant. Sorry, in Berlin, a restaurant and a bar. Yeah. And it was like, okay, cool. What time do you guys finish up? Uh, oh, we're doing karaoke and we're doing. Uh, we have some sort of show. We finish up about seven a.m. Yeah. It's like a restaurant bar. I it's like I love that, and that's, I think that that's again a German mentality. Keep going. Like Bergheim stays open forty eight hours over the course of the weekend. This place you're talking about, white trash. Closes for maybe five hours, yep. on, you know, on a Friday and a Saturday, but it's open the rest of the time. So there is that, and I think, but Berlin, although Germany doesn't have a London equivalent, in the London is just 
the big one big city in the UK. Germany has quite a few other um, similar size city. However, Berlin is definitely the international city yes, in Germany. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So you'll meet people from different cultures, not just German cultures, and that always results in, I guess, a sl slightly more open attitudes than yes. we experienced in Munich because it has that international vibe. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So now let's recap. Um, I would say UK versus Germany for nightlife, what do you reckon? Well, I'm putting my neck on the line here, and I'm saying that because of our history and our kind of like culture of, of like pub culture that is famous in this country, we, we've nailed that and we brought it into the 21st century. You go anywhere in the country, you go to Newcastle, you go to Brighton, you go to Liverpool, Manchester, yeah. London, we've got bloody good bars. <laughs> <laughs> bloody good bars. We should be playing like the national anthem in the background here, I should say. <laughs> uh, but we do, we've nailed, but I think we have. I yeah. think we have the best bar, bar pub culture in Europe. So I think that's 1-0 Great Britain. But then I'd say clubs slightly edge it or completely smash it. The whole fabric kind of closing, reopening thing sort of has maybe hopefully opened our eyes to the fact that it's a huge part of our culture. But I just feel like that's never even a question in Germany. That, that's how it feels to us. Yeah, the clubs in every city we've been to, Cologne, Hamburg, Berlin, Munich. Across they're the at their peak. They, they are at their peak. peak. Where I think in London, across the UK, they're probably... Closing down, in decline, yeah. not on the top of the No, they're, they're not. They're not. And we, we don't have a burger, and burger is the granddaddy of them. Yeah. Of course. Uh, what I will say, though, in, in favour of London and other UK cities is the vicinity of bars, yeah. easily accessible, not as kind of spread out, and it kind of feels like there's a hub and there's a bit of a crowd and a buzz yeah. that you get from. An area. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, I think, and again, you know, with the exception of the Reaper Barn, which isn't really our cup of tea in Hamburg, it seems like the bars are more spread out in absolutely. Germany, where you get these really brilliant, like the places we mentioned in London, and like places in Brighton, which is our hometown, and when we visited Liverpool and Manchester recently, you have these nice hubs with this good atmosphere, a good buzz about the place, and you gravitate towards it. So that, I think, is something in favour of London. But finally, I think the thing that makes it, it's a draw, so doubtless the Germans will win okay. on penalties here. <laughs> Deutschland in finale! The final thing in favour of Germany is just bang for your buck, value for money. I, maybe I'm sort of comparing it with London a bit unfairly here, but we went to Oval Space last weekend and it was 20 quid to get in. We've never paid more than 15 euros for a club. Even yeah. Bergheim, even though some of the best ones in Berlin, Munich, we've never paid more than 15 no, euros. You probably have a night out in Germany, 50, 50 euros and you have a good night. Exactly. Especially if you get a crush house party, that kind of exactly. saves you money as well. That's it. That, that's always how, <laughs> if in doubt, get a crush house party. <laughs> If you need any advice on that, let us know. <laughs>